I think it's very important that when you are working in any environment or any place of employment that you work at that you feel comfortable and you feel at home and your manager um, really wants to promote you to, to grow and be the best nurse ever. Hey, good morning you guys happy Tuesday I am going to take you along on my day um, this is my first work day of the week um, so I decided to take you along I am so tired today but I'm so excited that I get to go to work and do what I love um, I'm going to push past this tiredness and try to be the best nurse that I can to my patients all right I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel or tell a friend about my page It's time to get my day started i'm here i'm a little bit more alert so it's going to be a great day i know it as y'all can see from the clock in the back it's about 6 41 i try to get to work at least 30 minutes before my shift so i can look up my patients um i normally stay at the front desk but today it was a little bit um too noisy so i went to a little cubby hole to continue to look up my patients until our huddle time which is at seven o'clock a.m I know some of y'all might be saying she is not done yet, <laughs> but I really take my time um, going through um, my patient's records to make sure I know everything. Um, their current uh, lab values, the procedures that have already been taken, the reason why they had certain procedures, um, their um, uh, safety precautions, whether they're standby or self, um, everything, orders, uh, wound care, um, what has to be done for the wound, what materials are needed, um, specifically people on tele, ACHS, and maybe in another vlog I will go through exactly how I set up my um, um, sheets so that you can know and it can be helpful for you all who are nurses that are watching this vlog. Okay, so I take also a good amount of time just organizing my drawer that sits in my wow. And then I go to the clean room to also get some things to stock my drawer because you can't have a good shift if you're not prepared. So I try to make sure my drawer is fully stocked at the beginning of the shift. Okay, so I'm just pulling some meds for my first med pass. Time to get this day started. Okay, so I don't really know what it is, but I do not eat a full breakfast before work. I should, but I do not. Um, so I typically um, eat breakfast after I um, pass all my meds and chart. Um, and so here I am now uh, enjoying my good old breakfast. I think I had like scrambled eggs and some uh, cinnamon raisin bagel and some turkey bacon. It was the bomb. Okay, so it's about 11.30 a.m. Um, all the doctors have rounded on my patients, and typically about this time, that's when new orders are being placed in the system. So this is just me basically looking at the orders, trying to figure out what I need to do, how I need to prepare. And specifically, I had a patient who was going to be resuming her peritoneal dialysis, so I already knew there was a lot that I had to go over, and I actually needed to brush up on it. Um, so I um, was preparing myself for all this right now. 
So my hospital's great. They created an actual tutorial on how to um, do peritoneal dialysis. So this is me just reviewing the video. Okay, so the morning okay so the morning um was a little busy but that's normal and i'm just maintaining my three patients i have one patient who's going to start on peritoneal dialysis and i have a total um so it's just a normal day on the metro floor um so it's already like 158 time is kind of winding down i haven't eaten lunch so after i get this last med pass i'm going to eat lunch but all in all it's a great shift um going well um for those of you who are new to my channel um thank you so much for subscribing but i am a prm med surgical nurse um and i work on basically like an oncology nephrology floor and a little dabble of everything else um but i recently changed and i just want to talk about like why i switched um uh, units um i think it's very important that when you are working in any environment or any place of employment that you work at that you feel comfortable and you feel at home and your manager um really wants to promote you to to grow and be the best nurse ever and i didn't feel that i was getting that from where i was working um and so i absolutely love where i am my managers are very down to earth um there's diversity on my floor everyone is not just all caucasian or african-american there's a diverse um array of people and i love that um and then even though my floor is difficult it is a floor that i love and so i got a lot of like pushbacks from like co-workers um from my previous floor like why are you going there why are you doing this but sometimes you just gotta do what's right for you no matter what and stand by it and coming to this unit that i am working at is the best decision ever best i love where i work so yeah y'all y'all sometimes i be forgetting to show y'all what i have for lunch but i ordered like um this ramen bowl from this place I like called Tiger and Lily and then I got these um, um chicken pot stickers you can see so yeah that's what I'm actually enjoying right now I just didn't want any type of like anything heavy and this soup sometimes is like right on point even though it's a sunny day I just felt like some soup so yeah okay so I've eaten a little more now I'm ready to chit chat but so I have a lot of different patients, some walkie-talkies, meaning that some people can actually get up and go to the restroom on their own, they don't have to be monitored, and they have a total. Um, but some things, and I have stated this before, I did like a whole um, video for CNAs, and if you um, have not watched it, I'll try to link it above so you can see, but just FYI, because I used to be a CNA before I was a nurse, so I can do both jobs on my own, but I do delegate, delegate because it makes my job a little bit more um, efficient as a nurse when I can delegate and I have CNA that, that that does their job effectively but man if you're a CNA and you don't want to come to work and do work don't be a CNA come to work and be ready to work I'm serious man I'm serious especially when I'm a nurse and I try not to be mean but specifically when I have total patients man turn turn them every two hours if they kind of gravitate towards a side prop them up with some pillows um, sit them up um, change them watch them frequently and then when you address them when you come in them especially if they're not like alert oriented and not talking still tell them what you're doing hey uh, mrs. who I'm coming in and I'm changing um, your diaper or I'm checking if you're okay because sometimes some patients are alert oriented and other people will give me a report and it's like they're not yes they are they just can't get up out of bed like seriously do your work check on them change them um, prop them up if they're you know sitting on the side of the bed don't look at the room and leave them like that that's just wrong I just have this motto like I treat every patient as if that was me or if it was my mother and I treat my I try to treat my mother well or my father well so that's what I want to do and that's what I continue to do and some days okay I am stressed out I do have a lot on my plate but man I became a nurse because I want to take care of people so don't come to work and this applies to nurses too if you feel like you're having a funky day and you're not gonna be your best to call off 
yes i call off get yourself together so you can come and be the best medical professional to patients treat them right Your girl is tired, okay? I haven't been able to shake this, um, I have not been able to shake this tiredness or whatever I'm experiencing. I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm tired and it's four o'clock or 4 16, so um, I still have a few more hours to go, okay? Okay, so my patient needed um, pulse support residuals done after they. Um, urinate and so uh, we need a bladder scanner in order to document how much is left in their bladder um, and so our bladder scanner was taken out by another unit so I'm walking down to another floor to go get it um, but we had labs which are on the same floor so I dropped them off so that's what I'm getting ready to do so that's what I'm getting ready to do I'm getting ready to go get the bladder scanner completed my day um, it was a great day I learned a lot I told you I had peritoneal dialysis and I had peritoneal dialysis before but this time I learned something new um, and it's always good um, when you learn something and you don't look at it as a bad thing that you didn't know at all but um, you've retained information and now you, I know how to correct it the next time um, so great learning experience I work on a great floor everyone is very helpful it's very heavy a lot to do but everyone's very helpful um and the main thing i just learned today is man follow doctor's orders and communicate those orders if they are needed to be implemented by a pca and tell your pca stay on top of them if there's labs that need to be completed don't let them just go um left undone do that dress and changes this follow your orders um, and do everything that you're supposed to do and your day will go well. Um, uh, so yeah, it was a good day. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you in my next video.